We're at the offices of Thai Silicon Valley. Did you know that Thaicon is the world's largest entrepreneurship conference? Today, let's meet with some of the behind the scenes key players who bring us this conference to learn more about Thai, Thaicon and its impact on entrepreneurship and technology and innovation. So Venk Garima and Manish, at the onset, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us at Women Now TV. Uh, Venk, let's start with you. You are a long-time charter member of Thai Silicon Valley and currently serve as its president. Can you speak to the focus of Thai and what is its impact on entrepreneurship? Thanks. Thanks for having us here. Uh, you know, Thai started about 21 years ago. And when it started, it was... Uh, it was a pioneer organization in terms of its focus on entrepreneurship. Now, everyone is promoting entrepreneurship. You know, every university, every, you know, every city, every government agency, every state, all, everyone is promoting entrepreneurship. When Thai started 21 years ago, it was, a, it was pioneering in its focus on, on saying that wealth creation is a very noble goal that prosperity takes care of a lot of problems in the world. And, uh, and the best way to achieve prosperity is through entrepreneurship. And Thai was, uh, Thai was very, very successful uh, because they focused on inspiring people to become entrepreneurs, educating them on how-tos of entrepreneurship, and on uh, uh, you know, providing introductions. So that's how the first phase of, of, of Thai was. Uh, the second phase of Thai was as a bridge to South Asia, primarily to India. Uh, when, when economies were just, uh, when this economy was discovering India uh, as an investment opportunity, as a, as a destination for, uh, for investment, Thai acted as a bridge for those two things. In its third phase, uh, Thai has, has evolved again uh, to stay relevant to the needs of the entrepreneurial ecosystem. Uh, so now, I think the focus is, is on helping the entrepreneur. We continue to have programs that inspire entrepreneurs. We continue to have programs that educate entrepreneurs in terms of latest trends and how-tos of entrepreneurship. But we have also added programs uh, like Thai Angels. Uh, Thai Angels is, a, is, an, a, is an entity that funds uh, aspiring entrepreneurs. So a bunch of angel investors come together. Uh, they listen to the, to the funding pitch from the entrepreneur. And they, you know, if they like it, they fund it. And we have funded so far 23 companies over the last three years. So it's a pretty active organization. The other mechanism that we've started is a thing called Thai Launchpad, which is uh, if you have a good idea, if, if you're a small team, you have a good idea, but you don't know how to go about doing it, start, starting a company, starting stock option program, getting investors, getting in touch with customers or making the early trade-offs. So we have started a program called Thai Launchpad. It's like an accelerator in which uh, we give companies $50,000, we give them space, we keep them here for six months. The most important part of that program is that on a weekly basis, the experts will come and talk to entrepreneurs about various aspects of, of running a company. How to create buzz without spending money, you know, how to, how to structure the company, you know, how to, uh, how to refine your, 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 your uh, product pitch. And more important is how to reach out to customers and sign them up, you see, as early customers. I think in terms of affiliates, uh, you know, we have, we have a large number of partners in Silicon Valley. Uh, Software Professional Marketing Association, Chinese Software Professional Association. So a large number of affiliates are Churchill Club. They're all associated with us and they participate in our activities. We participate in their activities. But I think there are a couple of other programs, you see, of Thai that could be immensely valuable you see to people uh, who are associated with Thai. I mean one of the programs that really stands out is this thing called Thai CIO Forum where we invite 30 or so CIOs here and in New York and we and we select companies from our ecosystem to present to the CIOs and access to customers you know is uh, could be a game changer 
for for a company that is uh, just getting started. So essentially, there are a whole lot of programs that Thai has that impact is the different aspect of entrepreneurship uh, throughout the year. So so people should get involved with Thai. Garima, you are the founder and CEO of Akasha. Uh, can you speak to your involvement with Thai Silicon Valley and how has having a presence here been valuable both to you as a woman in tech as well as to your company? Thanks, Nidhi. Um, I would say that uh, the main reason why I have the courage now to be an entrepreneur is in large part to Thai. Okay. Um, I was in large corporations, Sun Microsystems and VMware, where entrepreneurship was a dream, but I had no skills uh, and no knowledge to how, as to how to go about becoming an entrepreneur. And I decided to come and hang out at Thai, volunteer here. Uh, and there are two main reasons why a place like Thai really helps an entrepreneur. One is to pick up skills. So Thai gives a lot of opportunity where you can come and volunteer, do different things, get engaged in various different programs. You pick up the skills what are required to become an entrepreneur. The second is the network. You know, like they say, it's not just what you know, it's who you know. And who you know is as important and sometimes more important than what you know. And Thai provides a ready-made, very, very powerful network of individuals who are also extremely helpful. So being here on a regular basis really helps us get plugged into that network. So with my new startup now, I'm reaping the rewards of it. Uh, we are the first batch of Thai Launchpad, so we're going through the accelerator program where we were forced to put structure around the company. That's really helping us now. We have a batch of uh, customers handy. Um, so if you're an entrepreneur, you're really thinking about how Thai can help you, I would say two things, skills, network, and then if you think about programs, if you have a startup idea, you want to go through an accelerator, submit to Thai Launchpad. If you have a successful or semi-successful startup, you want more funding, come to Thai Angels. Um, and most of all, definitely come to TaiCon. It is a buzz, a humming web of some of the smartest, most successful people in the valley come together for two days. So clear your calendar and be there. So Manish, from what we've heard so far, all roads lead to Thai. Uh, you are the chair of uh, TaiCon Marketing this year, and can you speak a little bit to what is the focus of TaiCon 2014? How does one benefit, and if for those that are on the fence, why should one attend this conference? Sure, Nidhi, thanks for having me here. TaiCon 2014 is indeed as exciting as ever. In fact, it is truly unparalleled in both the depth of content that's being put together as well as the breadth of ecosystem participation. We're expecting over 200 sessions managed and run by over 100 speakers. Uh, we're expecting participation uh, by over 4,000 uh, attendees to be here, uh, representing over 30 countries. That, that is a, a vast ecosystem to be represented. What TICON usually does, it pulls together this ecosystem around major industry shifts and trends. This year, we've pulled together around big data, Internet of Things, and cloud infrastructure as the primary themes. We also have innovation in healthcare and in energy. Uh, those things are all uh, places where we see innovation, exciting things happening all around us, and ideas are emerging in all corners, whether you work for a corporation, whether you have been an entrepreneur and you're thinking of the next idea, whether you're an investor looking for the next big thing, uh, Tycon is a great place to pull these things together. Uh, we have special forums like Founder Connect, where a single entrepreneur can come in and find its part, his, his or her partner uh, can find a team. We have Mentor Connect, where an entrepreneur can come in and get some advice for some very successful people. Uh, they can talk about funding, structuring companies, uh, and so on. Uh, we have youth entrepreneurship. And so if you are a middle schooler, or a high schooler, or in college, uh, and you have an idea and you want to put it uh, to, to work and, and make a real company out of it, come here. So regardless of uh, your background and, uh, and your daily activities uh, in a corporation, as an investor, uh, as, a, as an individual entrepreneur, uh, be sure to come to TaiCon. It is the best TaiCon ever, and you will see it for yourself if you show up.